Hi guys and welcome to our channel. We are Anna and Edward or two curly heads wandering. In this episode, we are going to share with you our experiences and discoveries around Santa Maria on Sal Island. We decided to have a late morning on our last day on the island and enjoy every minute of it. Our hotel was in the middle of the locals and this was one of the best decisions that we could have made because it gave us the opportunity to understand more the community. And of course we had the perfect spot on our balcony. They are lovely and friendly people. Here time seems to stand still, the days are warm and sunny, the food is fantastic and soon you will fully embrace the easygoing Cape Verdean way of life. We started our day with a visit to the Shell Cemetery. This place is exactly as the name suggests, a cemetery. The mountains of shelves are a result of human action and not a natural occurrence. Millions of shelves that were previously emptied of snails in kitchen and restaurants are deposited and broken into pieces at the shelf graveyard. This is situated at the age of Santa Maria and indeed it offers a stunning view over the ocean. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So how where are we us? Where are we now? Where are we us? As we are in Santa Maria. Shelter Cemetery. Me as at Ocean Antarctic, <laughs> Atlantica. So we are at the Shelves Cemetery. <laughs> you might have seen very beautiful pictures here. It is beautiful indeed, but the reason why there are so many shelves is because the fishermen are coming to clean the the shelves here and leave them behind and take the meat to the restaurant. why there are so many shelves here you can find cool stuff like dry corals as well like this tiny one we've tried to find a intact shell but it's no chance So here guys, as you can see, there are some small spaces where the fishermen are taking shelter to do their jobs. So the wind is not affecting them because here is a lot of wind. A lot of wind. Over the internet you'll find very beautiful pictures but when you're coming here expect to see this because this is the main purpose of this shelves cemetery of the things that the Mr. Shermans are using. It's a more active area than before. I know it's not the most beautiful view but we are just trying to be transparent and to show you exactly how it is. It is beautiful and sad in a way, obviously. 
but this is the reality so when you're coming you don't have expectations like to think that everything is perfect here but they need to own a living as well so. The view of the beach is extraordinary and the clatter that the broken shells make when you walk on them it's similar to walking on a million little bones. It's a sign to behold. Outdoor gyms such as this one are another attraction in Santa Maria. They can be found along the beach or hidden among the local houses. After the sunset a lot of youngsters will gather around and work out. Just imagine hearing the ocean and feeling the breeze while you're training. It must be great, isn't it? Let's work hard then. What does it say there? Uh, I have no idea. Thank you and welcome. Oh yes, donations. This gym. So if you for what? But yeah, this is a uh, out of space outdoor gym. Out of space. Yes, I think I need a drink. Clearly, I needed a break after the out-of-space gym. <laughs> so we decided to go and enjoy the water because, as you can see, it's one of the most amazing colors that you will ever find. Sal Island has a hot and dry climate typical of the region. The island experiences a long dry season, typically from November to July, with very little rainfall. During this period, humidity levels are relatively low. Well, we've been in November and it was quite humid, so I think it depends on everyone how it feels, really. There is a rainy season on Sal Island, usually occurring from August to October, although the island receives relatively little rainfall compared to the other regions. Rainfall tends to be sporadic and short-lived. So it's still better comparing with other parts of the world where you have a lot of rain for a long period of time. Sal Island, like the rest of Cape Verde, falls within the tropical climate zone. This means that temperature remains relatively consistent over the year, with cooler evenings during the dry season. The hottest month of the year is August with an average daily maximum of 31 degrees Celsius and an average low of 25 degrees Celsius. And the coolest month of the year is February with an average daily maximum of 25 degrees Celsius and an average low of 90 degrees Celsius, which is making this destination perfect for the whole year. Sal Island has some of the most beautiful beaches in Cape Verde with stretches of soft white and crystal clear turquoise water. Santa Maria, in particular, is popular, offering miles of pristine shorelines perfect for sunbathing, swimming and beach activities. The 
island's favorable climate and windy conditions makes it an ideal spot for various water sports like windsurfing and kiteboarding that are especially popular due to the consistent trade winds that blow across the island. The steady breeze creates perfect conditions for both beginners and experienced enthusiasts. You have the chance to dive sites around the island that offer opportunities to explore underwater caves, shipwrecks and colorful marine ecosystems. Fishing enthusiasts will also find plenty of opportunities on Sal Island. Deep sea fishing trips are available for those looking to reel in big game fish such as marlin, tuna or dorado. Or you can enjoy just boat tours and excursions around the island, which may include dolphin and whale watching, coastal cruises and visit the nearby islets. The water opened our appetite, so we had our last dinner in Cape Verde at one of our favorite restaurants in Santa Maria. The name of the restaurant is Las Americas and we have always enjoyed the catch of the day paired with their local white wine, which is by the way really really nice. Overall, we had a great time in Cape Verde, we have discovered some great people and we have seen some great places. So if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next country. Take care!